Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. It's Friday, get in there. The weekend is here, time for a few beers. Don't really make much difference to me, end up having them anyway, did not it? Uh, but for all you guys out there who are sensible and don't drink in the week, uh, it's time, time for you lot to go and have a beer and enjoy yourself. Right, I'm back with another beer review. Excuse me, I'm bloody boiling. Got out the bath about half hour ago. I put the heating on, turned it off about 20 minutes ago. It's still red hot in here. Fucking Jesus, fucking hell. No wonder it's fucking red hot. Fucking radiator's been on six. <sighs> bloody hell, Jesus. Anyway, uh, right, let's get on with this video. Uh, we got another beer now. Uh, from Home Bargains, and it was purchased for me for Christmas from the daughter, from Courtney. So thank you, Courtney. They've been very interesting to try. This is the last one of them. Uh, it's from Off Axis Bruco again. And this is a can of their Don't Leave Me Stout in the Cold. And it's a winter stout. It's coming in at 5%, which I can only just make out. Uh, 440 ml can. I'm guessing it was £1.69. There we go. Lovely artwork. Uh, if I can see anything on the back, I will read it. Season's greetings come from the edges of the galaxy via the Milky Way through storms of rich pudding spices and vanilla clouds comes and... Oh, there you are. That's it. Rich pudding, vanilla, blah de blah de blah de blah Right, so winter stout. There's going to be spices. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Trying to read them things is a nightmare. So let's stop chatting a load of uh, rubbish. Get it into the glass, see what we get. As I said on the other videos, I think the drinks have just been, they've been worth £1.69 really. That's, that's, that's all they've been and that's all, I suppose that's all you're gonna expect from them, really. Um, They've been drinkable. They've not, I wouldn't say they've been drain poor. They've been drinkable. Not going to set your world alight beers. And the other three have all done that. Will this be the same? We shall see. So beer in a glass. Beer in a glass. It might look jet black, but there is a red hue coming through underneath from what I can see there. Uh, bubbles, I'm not even going to do all that lot. And we've got just a dusting of sort of mocker head on top. Even giving it a good swill, it's making it about half a finger. So let's dive in on the nose, see if we get that vanilla, that pudding, that spiciness in there. Okay. Definitely get the vanilla. It's got a richness about it. Uh, dark fruits, plum. Cinnamon, I would say. Oh, in all fairness, it smells all right. It smells all right. So uh, I suppose you could say the proof is in the pudding. So let's give her a taste, see what we get. Cheers, everyone. Okay. Straight away. The body is super, super, super thin, super thin. Uh, and I've said with a couple of stouts I've had, if you like this, the one I had last night from S43, although it wasn't thick, heavy kind of body, it still had that, it, it drunk light, but it still had a decent body. This, this is watery thin for me. Uh, Little bit of fizz in there, which I suppose isn't too bad, but I wonder if it could do with maybe a touch more because the body is so thin. Does make it smooth though, reasonably soft in the mouth. On the taste, On the taste, I don't think it's too bad, really. It's roasty. 
coffee and you get the coffee in there definitely get the cinnamon for me cinnamon nutmeg sort of thing bit of sweetness from the vanilla And there is a bit of fruit in this sort of dark fruit. Uh, it says winter stout. Let's have another look at that again. Storms of rich pudding spices. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there certainly isn't the, the sort of, you know, expecting sort of like pudding sort of taste in there. What well, it, it is spices and vanilla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and that's, that's pretty much what it's saying. Rich pudding, spice, and vanilla. You are getting the vanilla. I'm getting the spices in there. It's got a dark fruit sort of feel to it. A rich roastiness. I mean, as flavours go, all right. It's not maybe as punchy as a lot of other stouts. But, you know, I don't think... Flavour-wise, it is too bad for £1.69. The 5%... Really is nowhere. You don't... You don't well. Again, it's that rich, roasty, coffee kind of thing going on. There's a gentle bitterness in there. You know, I wouldn't really say you feel that 5%. It, it, you know, we'll say for argument's sake, we'll just say it's drinking around 5%. But the body on this is way, 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 way too light for me. Uh, it really is too thin. It's a shame, really, because I think if it had, if they improved the body probably by, I don't know, You'd probably have to say at least 25%. I think the drink would be all right. It's, it's, there's nothing nasty in there. Uh, but for me, the biggest thing that lets it down is the body. It is just, it's, it's like drinking Coke. It really is, as in, it, as in the weight of it. It's really too thin. Uh, again, not the greatest stout going, but there's not an awful lot wrong with it for me. So, yeah. Don't leave me stout in the cold off Axis Brew. Winter stout. I don't think the flavours are too bad. The biggest letdown, as I say, is the body. So, yeah, if you like a stout, maybe go into Own Bargains. £1.69. You're not exactly being robbed for what you get. And I don't think it's the worst beer I've ever drunk. Let's put it that way. It's not the greatest stout I've ever drunk. Nowhere near. But it's a nice enough sort of stout it's 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 average run of the mill like every other one so yeah if you've had it before let us know what you think feel free to comment thank you all for watching hope you've enjoyed it enjoy your friday night and if i don't see you over the weekend which i'm bound to enjoy your whole weekend uh but i will see you on another beer review at some point so cheers